Welcome back to the channel guys. We are in a cave searching for some hidden stuff. <laughs> um, right now my inventory is a little full so we're going to go through my inventory and get rid of some stuff that's like less appealing. So boom. We only have 20 things in our slot apparently. So let's get rid of some stuff that's like 90 or 60. So this one, we can just destroy. Oops, I meant to destroy that. Yeah, we're good. Now let's pick up these two things here. Let's see what's in here. Hopefully it's some upgrades, some good upgrades. Yes, it's a scarf. Let's try this over here. Um, all right, so let's get rid of something else. At the same time, equip our new scarf. This one. All these are worth a lot except this 61. So let's uh, destroy this one. All right. Let's see about our gloves. Anything 60, 90. Oh, wait. Let's go back. The one we have on now is just worth the least. Ninety, ninety, ninety. I'm gonna keep all those. We have to do that one mission to increase our inventory. We have to, cause we're getting some good stuff here. We can't just not pick stuff up. So yeah. So as soon as we finish this mission, we're gonna go uh, increase our inventory. Rebellion. Oh, in Gringotts and a restricted section. Where am I? Oh no, the room's starting to flood. How am I being protected? What sort of magic is this? Oh my god, y'all, we are underwater. It's, that's crazy. I can only hope this magic protects me until I'm able to make my way out of here. Yeah. What is this place? It's like a fight scene. I'm not gonna lie, those glasses are pretty cool. Can it be? It's you. Has someone finally found our map chamber? I recognize you from the pensives. You're Professor Rackham. I am indeed. I must confess that I am surprised to see someone so young standing before me. I'm the same age that you and Isadora Morganark were when you started at Hogwarts. You've paid attention. And might I presume you share our ability? To see traces of ancient magic? Yes, sir, I do. As you have likely realized by now, our ability gives us a unique relationship with all forms of magic. We can access expressions of magic that few others can. Opportunities will arise that allow you to sharpen this rare talent. Do not squander them. I won't, Professor. Thank you. We have much to discuss. But first, a map found in a certain book led you here. 
Place the book on the pedestal. I don't have the book with me, sir. Hmm. That is unfortunate. I'm afraid we must pause our conversation until you return with the book. Very well. I'll retrieve the book right away. Good. We shall speak again once the book is in place. Oh, we got t there's some talent now. We got one talent point. Uh, you earn the talent point starting at level 5. You may spend the talent points as you wish to enhance your spells to increase your combat power, stealth, and more. Choose wildly. Talent points may only be spent once, so the number of talents you acquire will be limited. Return here often to see the new and powerful talents that awaits you. Hmm. We got seven talent points. So, spells. These talents help improve your spell casting. In what way? Uh, these talents increase the ability with dark arts. These talents improve your overall effectiveness. These talents improve your ability to sneak around. Enhance your use of potion and combat plants. Hmm. Definitely dark arts. Oh, wait. Um. Oh, shoot. There's more. Um. Cast an incendio, unleash a ring of fire. Oh yeah, definitely for the for the for the spiders, definitely. Uh, enemies near the target, summoning Akio. Oh my God! Oh wait, yes. And enemies near the target, level ten. Oh, we gotta get this one. How do we how do we do it? Yes, purchase. Definitely. And definitely this. Oh my God, y'all. Okay, cool. Let's go back. Let's do dark arts. Um, it's the same effect as a curse on the enemies. Cursed enemies have increased damage. Hmm. I also use that pretty good. Um, dealing damage to a cursed target inflicts damage to all cursed targets. Okay, so we must get this one first and then that one. Hmm. Let's see about core. Basic combat impacts reduce spell cooldown. Hmm, that can come in handy because successful Protego blocks will contribute to ancient magic blocks can increase even more. Ancient magic throw catches the, the throw disarm enemy weapons. Hmm, I don't use this one much. I should start using it. The new spell set is added. Um, hold R2 to unlock spell set. Hmm. A greater effect. Here's you to a greater effect. Hmm. We need this one. And. And we, I think we need this one. Need that one. Okay, let's let's look at the other stuff first before we use our last three. Steth. Hmm. Those both are handy. <coughs> For each Chinese chomping. Throne the second is regenerating and replacing no cost. Hmm. I don't really use those. So we definitely need this one. Oh, holding dodge allows you to vanish quickly and reappear nearby? What? That can be useful. Holding down dodge. Wow, that could be useful. 
especially for those, those spiders because we were just dodging and they were still attacking. Alright, cool, we're done. Oh man, that's cool. found the pages and the map chamber. Why would I need the book? You can't imagine how Are we done with that? Because remember guys, we gotta go increase our uh, inventory slots. I'm back at Hogwarts. I wonder when Professor Fig will be back. I did promise him I wouldn't neglect my studies while he was away. Suppose I have enough to distract myself with till he returns with the book. So what are we going to do? You need to learn to pulso, the banishing charm. Useful for pushing objects or adversaries away. Complete the required tasks and meet me in my classroom. The pulso. Okay, what? we got unidentified face object? Uh, we got to do two things. We got to increase our slot and also go sell some stuff. <clears throat> so let's take put this on pause. The main mission on pause for a second. And let's go to let's go to map. I'm gonna go to Hogsmeade and West. Let's go here, <clears throat> y'all. I'm so excited. We got some good stuff. We're gonna get a lot of money from all the stuff that we got. More cozy than Hogsmeade. Come on in. Healing potions are a speciality here, should you need any. What can I do for you today? We're selling stuff. This selling. Very good. That's what we're Never selling. hurts to keep my stocks replenished. Legendary. Take this to the room of requirement to reveal the S qualities. Hmm. Yeah, we're a ball. We're balling right now. Legendary. Hope to see you again. Farewell for now. All right, later, man. All right, let's go increase our inventory really quick with this quest. Well, I guess, I guess we don't have it. We have to finish the Miriam, and I thought we did. Flying class, oh my God, y'all. Let's go, hmm. 
Let's go do this flying class. This is going to be lit. Anything? I'm pretty sure I, I clicked the flying class. Y'all, I'm so excited we're about to start flying. Everybody grab a broom and we shall get started. I really get a custom room or <laughs> this is gonna be Mr. Exciting. Clopton, your attention please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Welcome. I got that drip the on. Goal I'm not today lie. is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely. As broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Hey. Not a fan, I take it? <laughs> now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom. Say up firmly and clearly. Then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up. Thank you. Now, your turn. Up, 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 you stupid ratty school broom. Up. Okay, let's go. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Good. Now. For your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. The brooms are school uh, property. Huh, I want I them returned in one this. piece. Yes, good. And lean. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? <laughs> I'm excited, y'all. All right, so what's next? This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. What a view! <laughs> oh my god, y'all. Hello! Nice day for a flight! Made it! Oh, did anyone else see that? Ah, oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as a first year. Yo, this is crazy. Whoa, our aquatic resident likes to make an appearance once in a Whoa. while. <laughs> Oh, well done. Have a moment. 
<laughs> that was fun. I say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We met in the common room. I'm Everett Clockton. So, care to join me for a bit of high-flying fun? <laughs> Can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. <coughs> the tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Let's hope the Headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Nice to get above it all, isn't it? Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is ever flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. Ha <laughs> ha! Now that's more like it. You sure you're not part hippogriff? <laughs> There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying tips and jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tall Everett. Have you two been? Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But, Professor. Enough. Class is finished for the day. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. Sorry about that business with Kagawa, but you have to admit those views were worth it. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch's in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. Y'all know we gotta go get a broom. <laughs> I do like Madame Kagawa. She's been tutoring me after class. Although she is very strict when it comes to broom. How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. Madam Kagawa, about what happened in class. No need to discuss it further. Losing points for Ravenclaw should serve as a deterrent against future escapades. Now. Professor Weasley has asked that I teach you a few additional spells, so please keep an eye out for an owl from me. 
You're also welcome to drop by any time with questions. Good day to you. I require assistance with a delivery and thought you might be interested. Please visit me at J. Pippin's Potions if you'd like to earn a few coins. What are you up to now? Please meet me in the seventh floor corridor as soon as you can. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies, away from prying eyes and distractions. Okay, cool. What should we do next? Let's look at some gear. I think we have some new stuff. Room of requirement. Hmm. Oh, exactly where we need to go. Sorting hat. Akio, let me go. Professor Weasley? Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. <laughs> that is so cool. Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? After you, Professor. What is this place? This is the Room of Requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now. Where is Deke? He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. <sighs> There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away.
Evanesco. Splendid. Now, cast Evanesco on those chairs. Excellent work. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. Where in Merlin's name is that elf? Is that... Goodness. My old school bag. I wondered where that had got to. I can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. Explore the room of requirement. Rebellion. <sighs> Dear me. Can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. Rebellion. Accium. This isn't as precarious as it looks. An intruder! Stop them! No, not... Uh, that's not helpful, you worthless pile of tin! Oh, this is beautiful. How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? What was that? Was that a golden stitch? Here. Summon your wits and find out. <laughs> Revelio. Rebellion. We hope that house elf can find us in here. Come to you. Hello. Ah, oh, Deke. 
Deacon. We've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deke's seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. given yourself quite a canvas to work with. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. We need this. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. You have unlocked the desk of description, used to reveal the magical properties of the identifying the gear that you have collected. Yes. Golden Dragon Eye. Spectacles. Huh. You'll find plenty of items of clothing. Let's see what these are like. Oh yeah, we need this increased Chinese chopping cabbages damage. Ah, and we can sell that. Identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. Mm. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now. I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes, the magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? 
Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plots and brew potions in class. I did use the brew. Mm, I did use to grow plants. Oh. It only costs two moon souls. That's awesome. Death of description. We already have one. Um, So how do I, you have reached your budget type of object, oh, all right. So, okay, I get it now. It says potion. Potion station. Um, small scientific, botanic. Which one should we do? Okay, let's do this one. And let's put it put it right here in the corner well done you can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants presuming of course you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds yeah I know we can't get enough of this uh wiggle wiggle well so let's like that Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. Can I use this type of transfiguration magic outside of the room? Conjuring and vanishing are strictly forbidden elsewhere in the castle. We've charms in place to enforce that. It would be exhausting to reverse the errors in both judgment and magic. But the room of requirement has its own rules. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. So cool. We're out of here. Let's go. I really want to interior decorator. It says first we would like to meet you in a room of requirements. Be with Professor Weasley. Altering spell. 
conjuring spell power. Okay, cool. We can, we can do that while we're here. I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some moonstone. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the Room of Requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. I got enough. I got like 70. I have the moonstone you requested, Professor. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? Um, wall decorations and floor decorations. So let's do, uh, I like the red one. Shall we move on? Protego! I've conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. Just aim your wand. and perform the altering spell to customize it.
Nicely done. Now you're ready for something a little more advanced. You can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. Your space might benefit from a bit of ambiance, don't you think? Deke, would you mind? Of course, Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Deke thinks you'll enjoy it. Uh, come and talk to Deke when you're ready. Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambience? Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Mm -hmm. A cool moonlight ambient sound, perfect. Uh, so like natural and earthy. I focus best in the room is dark and... Hmm. I'd like the room to feel natural and earthy as though I'm outdoors. Oh, sounds perfect. Hmm, quite a difference. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. Oh, that was so cool. I didn't expect this game to to have a, a part of it where you can just alter the actual buildings inside the game. Really giving me like some Minecraft vibes. You know, one thing I noticed about this game, I'm constantly surprised space. about what they throw in here next. Happen? The room equips itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting. If you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spell crafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. Good. I'll leave you to it. This is your space now. Use it wisely. Alright guys, let's see, let's see, let's see. We have something in here. Let's check our inventory. A page from an ancient book. The bathtub note. We got some fangs. Fangs gathered from a spider. Hmm. Oh, we have one talent point available. Hmm. Dealing damage to the cursed targets inflicts damage to all cursed targets. I honestly don't remember how to curse the targets anymore. Again. Um, Let's do sprint. Uh, sprint?
Oh, increased storage. Well, now we got increased storage, y'all. Yes. spell all right guys i'm gonna end it right here when we get back we're gonna go straight into professor sharps and learning disposal and learning a new spell let's get it i appreciate you guys so much for uh attending and tuning in with me i appreciate you i love you and we are out